Hello, my friends, and welcome. Welcome to a lesson about seed dissection. Now, there's some things you're going to need to be able to do this kind of work. You will need a cutting board and also some pre-soaked seeds. Uh, here's mine right here. You'll soak these seeds in a dish in water for about a day, and then you can wrap them in some moist paper towel to finish up the job. But they should look about like this, having a nice little, just a little bit of a root. This one might have gotten a little carried away, but I think the one we're going to be using looks great. All right, some other things you're going to find will come in very useful. A magnifying glass, a very sharp knife, and be careful with this. A kitchen knife might work, but an X-Acto knife or scalpel will work much better. And some tweezers to help with those tiny little things we'll need to pick up. All right, well, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do some dissecting. I'm gonna move my tools off to the side so I can concentrate on the work to be done. Let's dip into those seeds. And if you like to eat sprouts, just fight the urge to grab one of these and pop them into your mouth. This is science. Okay, let's start with our first one. This one is a pea. And I'm going to take my knife and my tweezers. And on this one, I noticed that there's sort of a ridge that divides this P in two. And actually, I'm going to use my uh, other camera to show you even closer what's happening here. Take a look at that P and how you can see sort of a division right there. See that right there? Nope, just doesn't want to hold still, does it? Right there. We're going to be cutting right along that line. Use your tweezers to hold that little seed still so you can get a nice cut. And you might even find that if you get that ridge, it will be very easy to slice it right in half. Be careful if there's anything poking out like a root. You're going to want to be careful of that because we do want to see that intact. All right, and then go ahead and open that right up like that. Let me use my other camera to show you really close up what that looks like. And there it is. So you can see we've got these two sort of pieces of the seed. It broken very easily into those two pieces. And then you see that little green feathery bit in there, that baby plant, and then the root that's attached to it. And we'd say this whole bit here is the embryo of the plant, the tiny baby plant. Pretty cool, huh? Let's check out another one. I'm going to move this one off to the side and grab my next one. This one's a bean, and the same thing. I'm going to look for that area where it's sort of divided, and I'm going to cut along that. Use my tweezers to hold it nice and steady. And there we go. Okay, this one's being a little bit harder. Be careful if you need to use your fingers. You want to try to use those tweezers if you can, but if you've got a very slippery bean like I do, that might be a little bit easier. All right, let's see if we can get that one open. Now, something else is happening here, and this one, the skin of the seed has just come off. It's actually pretty cool because that's one of the parts that we're going to be talking about in another lesson when we will learn about the parts of the seed. So you can take that off and put that to the side. And then once you can get your seed open, 
go ahead and lay it out. And I'm going to show you the detail with my other camera. There's another one. So you can see that skin right there, what we call the uh, testa. And also, you can see that root again. And then there's that feathery bit right there. We call that the plumule. Yeah. And that we call the radical. That's going to become the root. And then there's that food store in there the plant's going to use to get itself ready. We've got some other seeds here to check, so let's check those ones out too. Again, very carefully, I'm going to take it with my tweezers. This one is actually a split pea or a type of uh, red lentil, and it doesn't really need to be cut. I can just wedge my knife in and pop it open. There we go. Fantastic. And let me show you, because the little baby plant just popped out of there very easily. And this one, you can see the baby plant very well because it has a little bit of green in it. Right there is the plumule, nice and green, and the radical, nice and white. And then each of these we call a cotyledon, sort of a cup of food that the plant's going to use to get itself ready. And notice this one broke into two pieces very easily. Our bean broke into two pieces very easily. Our pea broke into two pieces very easily, and maybe the seeds and beans you chose did the same thing. We've got one more type to look at here. Let's grab one of those and bring it down to our cutting board. Move these ones over to the side a little bit. This one likes to roll around a little bit, huh? Okay, now on this one, I'm noticing there doesn't seem to be sort of a divide. I'll show you really close up too. Notice with these ones, again, there seemed to be like a ridge or something that divided them into half. But with this one, there just does not seem to be well, anywhere to cut it easily like that. Well, we'll just have to cut it right down the middle. This one I can fit in my tweezers very easily, and it is very hard to cut. Huh. There we go. All right. So I cut it into two pieces, but that was not very easy. But ooh, we can see the parts. You can use your magnifying glass, and I'll show you with my high-quality camera. So there is that corn seed. And notice, it doesn't look like there was any real division there. These popped apart pretty easily. In fact, the split pea there, that red lentil, was already sort of split apart. But this one does not look like it was meant to come into two pieces. But that's fantastic. We actually have two different kinds of seeds here. Uh, when we can't divide that seed so easily in half, what we call it a monocotyledon. Each of these little food pouches is called a cotyledon. And if it only has one of those, it's a monocotyledon, or we can call it monocot for short. But if it has two of them, like the pea, the bean, and the lentil, we call that a dicotyledon, a, a dicot for short, because it has two of those little packets of food that its mother plant gave it to help it go. So save one of these. If you're still interested in checking out the insides of these seeds, check out the next lesson because we're going to draw a diagram of all these fantastic parts. Until then, scientists!